It's the Schlockmeister Show. And now, here's Schlocky. Hey, everybody, Revenge of Space Man. You're on my show. Is that okay? Hey! We're here at the Revenge of the Space Man booth. And we're going to go see the official premiere at 4 p.m. Is this the first time it's been shown anywhere? First time shown anywhere. Awesome! So this is like a little sneak peek on your uh, screen right here. Very good. And this is Jay, the director-producer. How you doing, Jay? Fine. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I have a little bit of a rash, but it's okay. Uh, anyway, Jay, uh, what are three things can people look forward to when they're seeing the show today? Uh, looking forward to people being pro. Probing! Flatulence. Flatulence! And vomit on screen. Do you, you approve of this? I do approve. Are you not even in to see the movie? I don't, you I may don't not be. Get me a She's in I'm in it. You're, uh-oh. All right, okay. Now, who are these guys? These are some of the stars of the movie? That's Bill the Alien. Bill the Alien. So for William or just Bill? Uh, Bill. Okay, and this guy? That is Bill's cousin. <laughs> who doesn't even have a name? He's doesn't just Bill's cousin. Now, uh, I heard this movie can sterilize you if you watch it, it too long. sterilize you with fear. Oh, with fear. Okay. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to go get my seat. But just good luck and break a leg on your on your movie. Who's this guy over here? This guy is What's he Andy. Eating? And he brought his own, he's he brought his own lunch. Too. He's in the movie too, Andy? What about that lady over there? That's Linda. Oh, Linda. She's in the movie too. In the, wait, who's not in the movie? Uh, you? I'm in the movie. <laughs> Everybody's in the movie. This is a family affair, ladies and gentlemen. Come check out Revenge of the Space Man. You gotta check out. Are we gonna see a sequel? Maybe Revenge of the Space Women or that's a possibility. Revenge of the Space Coeds. I mean, you can get a whole theme going here. My memory is Revenge of the Space Men too coming out in a couple more years. Revenge of the Space uh, Accountants. That might be boring. Don't do that one. Okay. All right, guys. Everybody, wave goodbye on that note, and we'll see you at the premiere. Bye. Hi everyone, we're here at the screening of Revenge of the Space Man. It's going to be coming up in a few minutes. Hi everyone, Schlackmeister here at Cinema Wasteland. We're talking about anal probing, right guys? <laughs> and look who's in the back over there. Eric with a K. <laughs> oh, shh. Don't tell anybody. Oh, check it out. Awesome. Hey guys. Which one of these is the Janet Jane movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hussy? I don't talk to her. <laughs> it's funny, we never see Janet J and Janet Decay in the same room at the same time. We don't get along. I oh, interviewed her once and she got really scared and ran away. Really? Yeah. Um, I think I freak her out. She's a wimp. I know. <laughs> But a good actress. Uh, so we're I gonna hear. We're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting over here, but I mean, it's already. Sweet. We're here at Revenge of the Spaceman. And there's the director and the star of the movie. Jay, how are you feeling right before the big premiere? <laughs> speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> wow. Okay. First time, right? Stand up high. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the first screening world premiere of Revenge of the Spacemen. In a director's life, there's two times he's absolutely terrified. The day he first starts directing his first film, and the day his first film goes before an audience. I have to say, putting the film before an audience is probably more terrifying than starting shooting. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to introduce some of the cast and crew and people that helped us out to, to make this little opus. Um, they all worked their butts off. Um, we shot, it took us about three weeks to shoot it. Uh, we had to deal with normal Ohio springtime weather when it was real cold and it was supposed to be warm. Anyways, I'm going to start introducing our folks here. We've got Janet J. Stand up, Janet. George Tootie, who saved the world. Fred Mancati, who plays Sergeant Tatty. We also have to pick out of the crowd because everybody's all scared around. We've also got... This kid over here, he wants to go next. 
Andy Santa. Woohoo! Uh, let's see, who can I pick out here? We've got Diana Kors. Brilliant. Woohoo! We've got Kathy Bikes, who plays Kathy our special effects guy and uh, makeup people right behind her, Heather Ryan, Terry Ryan, and Matt Ryan. We have, uh, oh God, what was your name? <laughs> Betty Sue. Betty Sue Johnson. Betty Sue! I've had enough, give me another. Oh, well, so let's see. Like I said, I'm terrified. Anybody, who, where's BJ at? B.J. Halsall, he played a wide He holds out a whole lot of ways, which you don't see on screen, but behind the screen, he helped us out a lot. Linda Santa, who, she's not working the table right now. She was our alien fluffer. Wow. <laughs> Every movie, every movie that has some kind of stars that need prep to have a fluffer. Well, she was our alien fluffer, and she helped. She was really part of the glue that helped hold the whole production together. She kept her aliens green in between shots. She kept them hydrated in the hot costumes, and really kept the morale up when everybody wasn't busy shooting. And then I'd like to thank my wife Cheryl Summers for putting up with this stuff for the last two years. And for the people that don't know, uh, this movie was conceived here at Cinema Wasteland two years ago. <coughs> Barry, stand up. Yeah. This was half this work I did a lot of mine. We got a rough story together. We sent it off to a real writer who wrote the movie, uh, sent it back to us, who made some changes to it, shot the film, sent it to our editor who's in Australia. And that's where the Free Willy connection comes in with this movie, is look where editor is and start researching the last name, and you'll see why we have a Free Willy connection. Anyways, enjoy the movie. I hope you like it. And, uh, yeah, give us some feedback afterwards. We probably have enough time to do some question and answers after the film. I've also got some DVDs here if you'd like to purchase a copy. Thank you very much. Woo! How many weeks did it take to shoot? It took us three weeks to shoot. We uh, shot primarily in a one, two-week block, and then about another week's worth of shooting afterwards for pickup shots and re shooting what we could and things like that. So. And how many weeks of editing and post-production? Post-production took a long, long time. Um, our <laughs> editor was down in Australia, and I don't know if you had heard the news, but there was big brush fires there, which set an open pit coal mine on fire. That coal mine fire is in the community where he lives, which delayed our post-production for about four months. Wow. Did anybody save the horse? <laughs> yes, we saved the horse. <laughs> it said no animals or aliens were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> what town was the farm in? The farm? Was that in Seville? That was down in Burbank. <laughs> okay. Well, the, which farm? Where the horse was? The horse was down in Burbank. Okay. The farm where we shot the film was in Medina. So. Is the horse still green? <laughs> no, he's not green anymore. Yeah, I thought, there, I thought you were going to give some beer to the horse or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The horse gets drunk. <laughs> that, that was shot a couple months. Mike oh, Okay. Yeah, that was shot a couple months after we had shot the primary shooting and stuff like that. So we assembled what cast we needed to where the horse was to get the, to use the horse. So. How'd you get the dog to hold the yarn? Pardon? How'd you get the dog to hold the yarn? The dog just d does that with the yarn. Have <laughs> <laughs> oh, my spacemen instead of saucer men? Why are the spacemen so saucer-like? Or instead of spacemen instead of saucer men. Kind of like the Is Barry night. still here? Nope, Barry already left. When we were first coming up with the concept of the film, we were all Saucer Man fans. Yeah. We also liked <laughs> Mars Attacks and This Island Earth and pretty much anything which had a big-headed, bug-eyed alien in it. Um, so what I did when I de developed the alien was sat down with about six or eight pictures of different big brain bug-eyed aliens and developed our own. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of different aliens hybridized into one. What exactly are they taking revenge for? All their failed invasion attempts that they failed okay. in the past. <laughs>
How many aliens did you actually have? How many people did you have running around in those suits and everything? Oh, Diane, how many? Alex and I, I brought Dev. We had, what, 15? six or seven maybe at a time? At a time, yeah. Yeah, six or seven at a time. We would step in. The opening scene where you see like eight or ten of them, yeah. that was a multiple shot combined into one. We wanted to have about 20 or 30, but the mold broke when I hit <laughs> casting 10 masks out of it. So. A lot of the actors also got to be aliens. Yeah, everybody on the set fulfilled multiple roles, showing up in equipment, being aliens, and doing a lot of other stuff besides their primary role. So, I mean, it, we couldn't have made the film without everybody's help, and it took everybody's help. So it's possible somebody got probed and also did the probing? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> Any more questions? Why PBR? Why PBR? <laughs> Why does everybody at Wasteland drink PBR? Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer. It's cheap. it's cheap and it's good. Yeah. Is that it? Awesome. Right. Come see us at the table. I hope you guys buy some DVDs. We've got posters. Um, I hope you enjoyed the film. Thank you very, very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Woo! All right. So first, uh, first impressions after your big uh, debut. What do you think? Very saucery. <laughs> Very proby. Yeah, I can, I can hardly. Were you sit like in a fifties girl, or you know, yeah, you had, just that fifties kind of girl yeah. next door? Not necessarily in the nineteen fifties, but yeah, you, know, you put it's together like your, your, your ribbon and your hair, her. and uh, you're very proud of her. Yes. I wanted to come up and oh, say fans, hi. Oh, fans, fans. I haven't seen you in a while. Know, it's been forever. <laughs> Thanks for being Are you very job. proud of her? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, <laughs> great actress. All right, guys, this is Schlockmeister signing off at Cinema Wasteland for 2014. We'll see you next year. Okay, guys, it's been a great day here at Cinema Wasteland. I'm wasted and cinematic. Um, I'm dripping with sweat. <laughs> I got cut several places by razor-sharp uh, models who didn't want their pictures taken. It's, that wasn't my fault, you know. And why am I looking down here? Anyway. Okay, guys, uh, come see the show, cinemawasteland.com, I'm assuming. And it's twice a year here in Strongsville, Ohio. All right, on that note, well, I think they go in other states as well. Okay, talk to you later. Oh, and if you're looking for the uh, nearest available fire exits, right on this map here. There. Okay. Bye.